tell you all about Liquify. L-I-Q-U-I-F-Y. Liquify is an Adobe Photoshop tool used to alter a picture without destroying its pixels and compromising its quality. If used correctly, you will get quite a clear and cool image. First, though, you will need Adobe Photoshop. Just go to adobe.com, click on the Downloads tab, click Try under Adobe Photoshop CS5, and you will be able to get a free 30-day trial. Now that we've got Photoshop, you will need a picture. Uh, for now, we will use this vase. Go to Filter, and click on Liquify. This is the Forward Warp tool. See how it warps the image? On the Options side, you can adjust the brush size, the brush density, and the brush pressure of the tool. Now, what if you've made a big mistake like this? There is the Reconstruct tool right here. It will help bring your picture back to normal, but if it is too much of a mess and you're too impatient, you can always click the Restore All button, and it'll make the picture good as new just for you. This is the Twirl Clockwise tool. It'll twist all of the pixels in a clockwise motion. You should try it. It can be really fun. The Pucker and Bloat tools are two different tools with a similar purpose. The Pucker tool compress pixels into a tiny space, and the Bloat tool expand pixels into that same amount of space. Be careful, though, because if used incorrectly, these tools will be troublesome. It is best to use a conservative brush size, brush density, and brush rate. The Push Left tool pushes all of the pixels to the left of each other. Now, this tool can be really good for distortion if you know how to use it correctly. You need practice. If you're not good at it, keep practicing or use a different warping tool. Notice how the picture is different for the next tool, because this tool works best on landscapes. This is the Mirror tool. See how it mirrors whatever you brush against it. Now be careful, because if you do weird brush strokes, this happens. Be sure to use nice and gentle horizontal or vertical strokes to get the desired image you're looking for. For the sake of our amusement, we're going to keep this picture for our next tool, the Turbulence tool. What it does is it just moves the pixels around and causes, well, general turbulence. It's really good for cool water effects and the like, but really not much good for anything else unless you're into the porthole kind of thing. And finally, we have the Masks tools. What you see now is the Freeze Mask. What it does is it creates this red mask above a certain part of the picture, and it keeps the pixels below it from being distorted. Watch what happens when we use turbulence on this landscape. You will see that what's under the mask is untouched. Now when we remove this using the thaw mask tool, you will see the original undistorted picture. Pretty cool, huh? What you have learned is only the basics of Liquify. There is so much more you can learn, so be sure to go out there and learn it. Patience is essential with this tool. You will make mistakes, don't worry. Practice will make you perfect. Trust me, I hope you have fun.